Okay, another week, another weekend working on the Land Rover. What a surprise. Uh, I've still got a leak from uh, the coolant there, so I need to look at the hoses there. But we didn't start a motor today. Uh, it's not a bad job. It took me 20 minutes to get it out, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, just up there. Uh, if you've got an automatic like mine, you're going to have to remove a 10mm nut just there and a bracket, which is over there. Uh, to be honest with you, there is uh, a good video on YouTube from 4bit.co.uk uh, that tells you how to remove a starter motor and a TD5, so I should go and watch that. What I'm going to do with mine is open that up, because it's been sticking a bit, so I've bought a rebuild kit for 20 quid, so... Um, it's just to redo the solenoid. The motor itself is pretty strong, it's just the solenoid here. So, we're going to have a look at that and do that. So, yeah, well, it took me 20 minutes to get it out. Uh, and as you can hear from the rain outside, it's absolutely banging it down. So, I've had to uh, acquire the works yard inside just to do this. So, uh, we'll catch you in a bit. So, here's inside the starter motor with the cap off, which is there. And you can see the issue see the uh, big groove there that's not supposed to be like that and that one's not too bad but here's the new one compared to that one so i've caught this just in time uh, get this done it should be good to go again so here are all the parts Everything comes with it, just replacing like for like basically. Bit simple. Right, so that's the starter motor back in. Wasn't too bad. But that's the nut for the gearbox lines you've got to remove first. You got a 13mm nut there for the main harness. And just a, you can't see, but there's a, a clip just there, you just pull off. Uh, you've got a 13mm there. A 13 there if you reach your hand over the top of the starter there's a 17 uh, which is a bit awkward to get to you can just about get a, a ratchet on there I think where is it yeah it's up there somewhere it's uh, it's actually not a bolt it's a stud that this just locates onto uh, but somebody's been in here before me and left that nut off so it made it a bit easier for me I suppose uh, but not a bad job anyway uh, yeah there you go 